dear students let us look into your module 5 that's the last module in your grammar textbook and uh, in module 5 you have got three units and this is the first unit in the module 5 that is unit 13 which deals with proverbs and you might have actually done this proverb expansion uh, in your school classes uh, here you might get question paragraph questions on proverb expansion you might get a uh, proverb and you need to expand it with suitable anecdotes in order to make it more meaningful and effective and let us refresh our ideas on proverb so let us look into what proverbs are first of all proverbs are pithy statements that are wise and carry deeper meaning of course it has a deeper meanings um, or you need to read between the lines in order to find the actual meaning of a proverb they use metaphors to convey ideas that would otherwise take a long a lot of time to explain yeah, of course, they used to communicate with the help of metaphors and you need to decode these metaphors in order to get proper ideas or proper meanings of what it actually meant. You have got some proverbs as exercises in this uh, in text itself. Um, by that, you can understand what it means. They use metaphors to convey the ideas that would otherwise take a lot of time to explain. Their relatability is what makes proverbs popular. Uh, of course, you can relate it to life experiences as well as, you know, uh, to various incidents that you happen um, um, to see around in order to make these um, uh, proverbs more clear. Especially in literal, uh, literary usage, you can make your writing interesting with the help of proverbs or you can convey a, an idea in a better way when a proverb is being used. Proverbs vary from culture to culture and incorporate the elements that are unique to their places of experience of or, or experience of origin. So, and also this um, makes sometimes it, it is difficult for you to understand the uh, this regional proverbs because that might have something to do with their culture and um, tradition too. So, you might not get the proper idea without some kind of explanation. Sometimes this too happens. Proverbs vary from culture to culture and incorporate the elements that are unique to their place or experience of origin. It is important that proverbs be used correctly as their meanings can change when used out of context. Of course, that metaphorical meaning should be decoded very clearly. Otherwise, you might uh, like make a wrong usage. Okay, we'll look into it when you when we discuss the uh, ex sample exercises that are given in your textbook. Uh, anyway, let us look into one example uh, of a proverb that is being expanded for you. Let us, a leopard cannot change its spots. A leopard cannot change its spots. It basically means that the basic nature of a person cannot be changed even though he tries to like put a mask over it this masks won't uh, last long some at one point or another uh, the actual image or the actual uh, behavior character of a person will come out let us see how the basic nature of a person cannot be changed people will always be true to their character and it is difficult for them to think or behave differently of course we know at one point or another their actual character will come out the common story that illustrates this proverb is that of a man who sees a scorpion fall into a river and jumps into save it just as he is about to come ashore with it the scorpion stings him so the it doesn't mean that you uh, you might have seen that okay the famous quotes like it doesn't mean that a lion do not attack you back since you have actually left it without harming because the true nature of the lion will come out anyway like that just as uh, here the scorpion stings him because um, of course it is the basic nature of the scorpion even though he has done a good thing to the scorpion uh, it won't take it like that so definitely you, be, you need to be careful about whom you are dealing with
Writhing in pain, he drops the scorpion in the river again and asks it why it had stung him. The scorpion explains that it is uh, that this is its nature. They both eventually die. That's a bit hypothetical, um, hypothetical situation anyway. The, the proverb is therefore also a way of asking people um, to be aware of those around them and their true nature. Okay. Now, next one. A poor workman always blames his tools. Now that, of course, you know, a person who is inexperienced or um, underqualified will definitely make so many excuses for their own faults, uh, faults especially they uh, mess with in their workplace. This uh, proverb talks about people who make excuses for their faults and failures by blaming the circumstances. They refuse to take responsibility of their failures. They, at any cost, they won't be taking the responsibility of what they have done wrong or they will not accept the um, things they have done at any cost. Uh, like it sh shows a lack of courage and a lazy attitude. Such people rarely succeed in their endeavors. This proverb exists in a lot of languages. For example, in Hindi, um, this equ the equivalent to this suggests that he who does not know how to dance blames the float for being uneven. And there are even, we have got this original um, equivalence of this proverbs in English. Now let us look into certain practice exercises that are being given there. Uh, many are actually very easy to understand, but let us discuss. They expand the following proverbs. A chain is only as strong as its weakest link uh, for example uh, a chain, uh, suppose a group of people or a like a team is working hard to achieve some goal to succeed in some game or some to achieve some goal it is being said that if one person fails in the team that means the whole group fails okay so it uh, it has a deeper meaning that uh, you need to if you are working in a team all the team members should put equal effort to be successful in whatever they are aiming at otherwise the the team is actually strong as its weakest link so the weakest person strength will be or if there is a person who is about to fail, then that will be the total destiny of that particular group. Okay. So, the failure in a term, uh, in a particular team, the uh, team member can be the failure, uh, can turn out to be the failure of the whole team itself. That is what it means. A chain is only as strong as its weakest link. I hope you understood the idea. Then... Uh, and with that you can actually ex uh, with the help of some examples uh, you can expand the proverb in one paragraph now second question a penny saved is a penny earned this actually um, gives us the or shows us the importance to save money when you earn okay of course, so um, uh, that uh, the, it also shows us the importance of saving money. Uh, if you are earning kind of like 10,000, 20,000, 50,000 per month, a little bit of it you need to save because that is considered as another kind of earning. Okay. Because unspent money will definitely gives you some sort of income or turn out to be some sort of revenue in the later phase of life. So I hope you understood the idea. Then, say so next proverb, empty vessels make the most noise. That of course shows that if a person is uh, not knowledgeable, he will be chit-chattering almost all the uh, time. Uh, that is a wastage of time as well as energy of others a person who is not knowledgeable or talented will be talking for all the time and uh, wasting his own time as well as his others this talking actually refers to his uh, false uh, like um, efforts in order to create some sort of impression among other people that's what you mean by empty vessels make the most noise next question rome wasn't built in a day that this actually shows the 
effort of uh, we need to put in in order to be became successful rome of course you know it is one of the mightiest empires in the world um, especially in the ancient world it was considered as one of the mightiest empires and it is suggests that a complex task or a great achievement takes a lot of time and effort and you can't um, build an empire in uh, in a short span of time you need to wait so rome has become a mighty empire through uh, quite a lot of num quite almost through centuries of wars and um, slowly by the expansion of the empire as well as bringing in um, being in touch with uh, countries across the world through trade it was it has turned out to be a mighty empire in the ancient era okay so that was not a success that came into rome all of a sudden this uh, was the result of uh, of uh, this great effort the emperors of the rome has put in and worked without rest okay so you especially when you are into something when you are into a new venture you shouldn't rush into things desperately seeking seeking the results uh because it will come to you uh, when you put a considerable amount of effort and it needs a considerable amount of time for the real success so don't rush in or don't jump into uh, one thing over the another so especially with the startups and all uh, be sure that you put all your effort uh, and you spent all your time and energy over it for quite a long a long time then only you can be ex- build a successful industry or empire or whatever you call it okay so that is what you mean by rome was in built in a day then the next proverb a man is known by the company he keeps that of course you know you will be definitely you should be in a good company in order to be successful and uh, like whatever you want to become you need to keep such a group of people such a group of um, uh, colleagues or such a group of peer um, peer um, such a peer team you need in order to succeed in your life so that is what you mean by a man who is known by the company he keeps that procrastination is the thief of time procrastination means delay in action you need to think do things um, right when they are uh, to be done okay you don't need to keep on delaying things okay uh, suppose you want to apply for an exam and uh, that uh, it is you have like two weeks of time for the last date uh, you waiting for the last minute is a very bad idea because you never know what all things comes in between that might actually makes things difficult for you to do things at the last minute so don't procrastination is delay in action and uh, so never procrastinate things never keep off things those things you need to do tomorrow please try to do it today itself that is um, how great people achieve success in their lives so procrastination is one of the one among the seven deadly since uh, that a person can do towards one's own life okay so that is what you uh, that is how you can expand the ideas related to the, um, the sixth proverb that is given there so you can just try googling and find quite a lot of um, similar proverbs and you can try working on them and definitely you will get a question on the proverbs as i told you this uh, one paragraph question will be there which carries four marks where you need to um, write a paragraph about the proverbs okay so thank you see you in the next class have a wonderful time ahead